H for heparin, I for induced, T for thrombocytopenia. Name is quite confusing because thrombocytopenia, as we know, that's not the main problem. The main problem is thrombosis, paradoxically. And the thrombosis could be life-threatening, both arterial and venous thrombosis can occur. It could be life-threatening in 20% cases. Now, why and how heat occurs, that actually we are trying to understand in this session, as I have been requested. Now, superficial level, you all know that this is due to PF4 heparin complex, but we we'll try to really understand what is the actual concept behind this, why actually heat occurs. So let's say my hand is a platelet, and from this platelet alpha granule, this is released. This is a platelet factor 4, PF4. This is PF4. When this PF4 is released, actually, a person who has been now treated with heparin, the heparin is also there. Heparin is negatively charged and this PF4 is positively charged. So they would bind with each other, this heparin and PF4. Now the question is this, that if this is so simple, then, then any negative charge, charge substance can bound with uh, uh, PF4 and can cause the problem. Why not anything, only the heparin? There's this particular reason for that. It is said that when this heparin bound with this PF4, there is a conformation and change occurs in the PF4, this platelet factor 4. And this complex, that is this new changed PF4 and the heparin complex, this complex now act like a new antigen. That means that what is the immune system would think that what is this substance? I have never seen them before, this uh, PF4 and this heparin and this changed PF4 actually. So they would perceive them as an antigen and they would start to produce antibody against them. And that's why the first time when heat occurs, it usually takes five days time, you know, because the uh, body's immune system needs some time to recognize this as antigen and to produce antibody against them. So let's say this is an antibody which is produced against them, IgG. So now what is happening, this IgG antibody which is produced, they are coming and binding with this complex. This complex is PF4 heparin complex. So when this complex is formed, this IgG, you know, they have FC, FC region. This F and platelets, all the platelets over the surface, they express FC receptor. So now what, what is going to happen, this complex, wherever they are formed, they are now going to bound with many FC region of the platelets and going to activate them to release their substances, release the microparticles and causing platelet aggregation. So these things as they are forming, this IgG antigen heparin platelet for PF4 complex, this whole thing is now going to bound with many platelets and they are going to activate this platelet, that platelet. In this way, they are going to activate a lot of platelets and they are going to release their granules and ultimately all those platelets is going to, uh, going to aggregate. That is the initiation of the thrombus formation. Okay. So there are two reasons basically why there is thrombocytopenia occurs in the heat. Number one, all these platelets which are getting activated by this unusually formed complex which is unusually activating this unnecessarily, I would say, unnecessarily activating these platelets to form the platelet aggregate. So all these platelets are getting consumed from this platelet uh, thrombus formation. Second reason is that, that when this one platelet, which is bound with this antibody complex, you would move to the spleen, splenic macrophage would destroy them. So obviously this is the reason number two why uh, thrombocytopenia can occur in the heat. First, there is formation of unnecessary platelet thrombus which is consuming a lot of normal platelets and secondary these platelets which are bound with this complex IgG complex with PF4 when they move to the spleen splenic macrophages would destroy them. Now another thing now next question is that that why there is a thrombus formation occur. Thrombus formation also occurs due to two reasons are there. Obviously one reason is very clear because there is a unnecessary activation of the platelets by this complex PM4 uh, heparin and this IgG, they are unusually, un unnecessarily activating a lot of platelets, they are activating them, uh, they are forming aggregate. Another thing can also happen, ha happen actually, that is, let's say this is a uh, PF4, now our blood vessels, they have endothelial cell and endothelial cells, they can also express some glycosaminoglycans, particularly heparin sulfate, negatively charged. So this PF4 can also bound with the heparin sulfate, let's say this is heparin sulfate on the endothelial cell lining on the blood vessels. And now this thing, another antigen can come, IgG antigen, they can bind with this. And this whole thing, complex can now injure the endothelial lining. So if endothelium is injured, you know this is one of the key risk factor for the thrombosis formation. So thrombosis formation can occur by two ways. One is unnecessary platelet act activation. And second thing, this can also occur because the endothelium can also be injured in this condition. Unnecessary endothelial injury is occurring. That can also, but endothelial injury occurring through a different mechanism because endothelium, they express certain <coughs> molecules which are negatively charged. PF4 goes bind with them. And the similar way now, this complex also attracts the IgG. They come there and they, 
and means injure the endothelial lining that is the reason so in a nutshell the story goes like this that body produce uh, the platelet produces pf4 this is pf4 this pf4 attracts heparin heparin come with them there is a conformational change in the pf4 and the whole complex now act like antigen that brings igg uh forms igg forms igg comes there this forms a complex now the whole thing pf4 heparin and igg complex now they can bind with lot of surrounding platelets and they are going to activate them to cause their aggregation and all these platelets they are unnecessarily getting consumed to form this platelet aggregate that is the reason number one for lowering of platelet count thrombocytopenia another reason for lowering of the platelet count is that, that these platelets which are bound with this antigen antibody complex when they move to the spleen splenic macrophages destroy them another thing can also happen that this pf4 can directly bind with the endothelial heparin sulfate bring platelet bring antibodies there injure this lining uh, endothelial lining and this injured endothelium would also contribute to the thrombosis formation so that is the whole story about the why the and how the heat occurs if it induces thrombocytopenia the thrombosis occurs and the thrombocytopenia occurs there are other areas also but i would do in a different session also thank you so much